Welcome back to Belly Dance Class. This is lesson three of Shape Up with Belly Dance where we're getting our bodies toned and our minds relaxed and calmed and reinvigorated with the, as we learn, the art of belly dance. So if you're just joining us for the first time, you can go back and do lesson one and two before you do this one or for a little challenge, just join us here because we do lots of review and we're learning some new moves and then you can check those out later. So. Let's again begin in basic belly dance posture because it's basic, it's the foundation. Feet a couple of inches apart, knees bent. Yep, those quads are gonna be burning. Hips tucked forward, abs in and up, chest lifted. Deep breath, feel grounded from the waist down and energy up from the waist up. Arms, chest open, arms out here in basic. Now, once I get up here, I feel like, oh my gosh, I'm really tense. So I'm bending knees again, lifting and trying to relax into our basic pose, which we know is not relaxing, but oh my gosh, is it toning? So with our arms in low, chest to lift it in time with Bob's drum, we're going to do arcing arms up as our warm up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, arms up. Four, four beats, arms down, four beats. One, two, three, four, one, two. I'm gonna give you a challenge. We're just gonna go straight into Pose Iowa right from here. Now, feet, toes, arms, two, three, four, and arms, two, three, four, arms up and arms. Challenge. Bend down as we take our arms up. Bend up as we take our arms down. Down and up. Really working our balance. Other side. Check in with your balance. Here we go. Arcing arms. One, two, three, four, and one, two. isn't it? Trying to look graceful and like it's no effort, but it's a huge amount of effort. Getting all of our muscles in shape. Back to basic posture. Wow. How did that feel? Pretty good though, right? Looks really cool. Okay, remember our snake arms? Let's start with this arm up, this one down. As this one comes down, this one goes up. Knee halfway in the middle. In time with the beat and rhythm. One, two, Three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Bend those knees. Abs in and up. And same thing, we're gonna go straight into pose eye with this side this time. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Could you do that? Pretty challenging to keep those arms going with the beat and to move into a different posture with the beat. Wait, let me check. One, two, three, four, and one, two. Back to basic. One, two, three, four, and one, two. The other side. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Back to basic. Both arms down, both arms up. One, two, three, four, and one. Pose Iowa. One, two, three, four, and one. Pose Iowa the other side. One, two, three, four. Down to the other side again. One, two, three, four. One, two, other side. One. Have we doing, done any new moves? Nope. The only thing that we're doing is we're changing our, our poses and our postures. One, two, three three, four, and back to basic, and our speed, one arm up, and let's end with a couple of snake arms. How did that feel? Pretty challenging, right? You have to drop me a comment and let me know what was the challenging part for you. Okay, remember our hip lifts and drops? Let's play with those again. Back to Pose Iowa. We are working 
the legs, the glutes. Well, I'd say the glutes, but everything in our hip region. Okay, where's your balance? That's right, it's on that standing leg. So you could do this. We can have our arms here. We can have them in basic. We can take one arm up. How about if we leave them here? Open the chest, drop, 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 and drop. Lift, drop, lift, drop. Now just think of the drop, the drop, the drop, the drop. Now the lift and the drop, the lift and the drop, and the drop, the drop, the drop, the drop. Lift, drop, different timing. Other side, let's take our hands like this. And like this. What pose? Iowa, knee bent, abs in and up. Here we go. Let's lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop. Now drop, drop, drop. Just emphasizing the drop, not the lift. Drop, drop, drop. How about the twisting hip drops? Lift, twist and drop, 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 twist and faster. One, two. There's a challenge, right? Same motion, just speeding it up. Now, if that's too hard, you can go back to slowly. Still getting a workout. If you take it, let's take it to the other side. If you do it really fast, it's much more cardio. Let's drop it, lift, twist, drop. 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 Let's try this one fast, just for fun. And one, two, three, four. I'm gonna bend a little more, lift my chest a little more, and have momentum help me a little bit on that one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh my goodness, pretty good. It's just wonderful, we can take a simple move, change the speed or the direction and make it look like a whole new move. Let's learn a whole new move. In basic posture, knees, both knees bent. Now I'm gonna do sideways for this. We're gonna do something called a double hip drop. I'm gonna show you from the side because what we're doing is with the knees bent, we're now gonna bend one knee a little bit more, boom gonna lower that hip and then the other one but notice we don't do this we don't go back to a straight leg because that's a different look a different dance belly dance is down here and it's as if the hips are moving by themselves so from the front we're gonna go drop 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 hip 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 Double hip drops, double. Now I want you to think about something. Remember when we did the hip twists and then we turned that into a shimmy? What do you think we're gonna do with this? That's right, we're gonna turn it into a shimmy. You wanna try it now or save it to the end? Let's try it now. Okay, so how did we do it before? Just sped up the movement. So one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one two and three and four and one and two and three and four. How about that for arms? Looks like a whole different move and all we did was move our arms. One and two and three and now let's double that speed again like this. One and a two and a three and a four and a. Now you may feel all that stuff behind you shaking and flapping around and that's exactly what you wanted to do. Shake. But we're trying to keep from our waist up, we're trying to keep that still, or looking as if, you know, it's just our hips are magically moving, just by themselves. Double hip drop turned into a vertical hip shimmy. Now, what other shimmy did we learn besides the twisting shimmy? That's right, we did the shoulder shimmy. So let's go back into our pose Iowa, just for a variety, and put our toes here. And we're gonna twist those root cage back and forth, remember? One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one.
one e on a two e on a three e on a four e on a one and a two e on a three e on a four e other side warming that up one two three four one two three four and one e on a two e on a three e on a four e on. <sighs> toning our muscles i want to show you another way we can move our rib cage and that is we can slide it. Remember we did the slide sideways? We can slide it front and back. You think that's gonna tone your core? <sighs> Different muscles. So here we go. Again, the bottom of the rib cage, parallel to the floor, to the front, back, front, back, front, back. Oh my gosh, front, back. Now your motion might be just very, very small at first, and that's fine, because you're trying to, I mean, this is not something that we do on a regular basis, so it might feel really super strange. Now, the tendency here is to straighten those knees, but we still want to bend them, tuck the hips, ribs front. One, two, three, four. One, two. Now, you just let me know in the comments, is this way more fun than, what are they called, crunches? In the old days, we used to call it calisthenics. One, two, three. I mean, dance is so much more fun and because this is, it's working our brains as much as it's working our bodies, maybe more, because we're, we're multitasking. We're doing all this stuff, trying to keep our posture, our knees bent, staying in time with the music. One, two, three, four. We can speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. Now, later on, we're gonna turn this move into a, you know, undulation-y thing, but we're just gonna start like this. Getting a super toned middle. Oops, I lost the beat. So we're gonna listen again. One, two, three, here we go. One, two, three, four. Let's go back into the sideways slide. One, two, how's that? Four, one, two, and front and back again. One, two, Two, three, sideways. One, two, three, four, one, two. How about do you really wanna you really want a challenge now? Let's do this in pose Iowa. Okay, so we're on that one leg and all of our weight basically is on that leg. And now it's gonna really work that balance and tone those muscles as we are gonna slide our chest forward and back in this position. Check your balance. Good. Now, we're gonna, here we go forward. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Are you feeling it? Three. I'm trying to do it without putting any weight on the toes. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four. One, two. How about sideways? Side, side, side. Way hard. Are you having a hard time? Building. Let's do the other side. Get that leg's getting tired. Okay. Pose Iowa. Toes. Lift. Abs in. Arms out here. Now slide the rib cage forward parallel to the floor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We are building some serious abs, but also legs and push because we're working everything. And we're toning our arms too, just holding them in this position. One, two, three, right? Is that tough? Oh my gosh. If they're tired, bring them down, but try to keep them curved. Don't just let them get, you know, flop. One, two, three, four, to the front. How are we doing? Should we go back to our double hip drops? Remember what those were? Knees bent. Two, three, four, one, two. How about a challenge with this? Okay, so we're going to be we're going to be toning our brains. We're going to be toning this, and then we're going to count and take our arcing arms up as we keep this hip drop going. So our hips are going one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Really concentrating. One, two, three, four, one, two. 
that thing that's keeping us all together is the beat, counting the beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we can double our time with our hips. And one, and two, and three, and four. Oh my gosh, Jen, to ya. Woo! One, and two, and three, and four. And you know where we're going with this now, right? One, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two. Fabulous time in this class. I've had a fabulous time with you. So when you want to do more, you know, do another 15-minute class. Go back and do lessons one and two again. Or do we have a whole bunch on there? You can do a five-minute workout, which just works on you know one thing at a time. You can do a follow-along dance where I'm not chattering so much. Um, and when you want to, like this whole thing, there's one, two, three, four, where we're coordinating. We teach that in detail in our online classes and courses. So you can take like a range of motion classes, which are really, they go nice and slow, and really teach you how to get precise with this stuff, um, or the introduction to belly dance class. So let's shimmy, let's twist it. And I am so looking forward to seeing you on the next class. Leave a comment and tell me if you're having a good time, what you're learning and what's your challenge. And pose I with our shoulder shimmy. You got it. How about hands, 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 hands. Twisting. A little level change. 